Hi guys, Better Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we're playing Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. We're still continuing our naval academy, at least until the uh, the campaign comes through. I'm still waiting for that. Um, this episode, we're going to go with the Sink the Raiders. Um, so we've got some heavy cruisers uh, threatening two of our transports. These cruisers possess a mix of firepower, protection, and speed that can make them particularly dangerous against other cruisers. You can try to deal with them with a number of your own cruisers or a semi-dreadnought, which, although not very maneuverable, its numerous big guns can undoubtedly deliver higher damage. You must sink the enemy cruisers and not let them sink any of our vital transport ships. Um, oh, that's target practice. And we have to keep 100% of our transports alive. I think we're going to go with Battleship, and we do have $17 million. Although, we could go with 195 but I think boosting the firepower will be a bit better. Uh, we get plus three to everything except for rangefinders and gun layout. So let's start uh, designing this thing, huh? Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with the battleship for now. Going to very short range. We're going to try and keep our speed as good as we can. Auxiliary marine engine is uh, which uses petrol as fuel helps to keep the ship operational when main engine is down. Eh, nah. And we've got all the way up to Krupp 2, but that's really going to up our cost. I think maybe Harvey for at least for now. Um, hmm. Probably Barbet one. Let's definitely go with Anti Torp two. Hmm. Actually, Anti Torp one. Double bottom. Reinforce bulkheads. We're starting to get up on our cost. Maybe drop two knots. Oof, that is expensive. Maybe Citadel 1. Heavy shells. Is Lidite going to be uh, the best option again? That's a lot of shell damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Lidite one, because that is that plus fifty-seven and a half percent shell damage. Yeah. I 
I guess it doesn't really matter which one we put where. Let's go with the cheaper option for now. going to try out uh, 10 inch guns for for the time being overlaps what about a nine inch? Yeah, we can do 9 inch. But we're now down into cost relating to only one battleship. Can't put that anywhere. Casemate guns? Wait. We only have three inch guns available. Oh, that's why. That's not going to do much. Why does it skip that one? Overweight again. Well, gosh, I guess I'd better try to put some casemate guns. I mean, they're not going to be particularly useful, but... Hmm. 24 and a half knots. Twenty five knots. Okay, let's try this kind of ridiculous. Pomern class. Eighteen inch torps. Standard speed. All right, yeah, let's give it a shot. Hey, it only took 10 minutes to uh, design this one.
<laughs> well, we've destroyed the secondary tower. Can I tell you to... Uh, no, I guess not. I cannot tell these transports what to do. Hearing some shells bouncing off the armor. That's a that's a good thing. Eight inch, six inch, two inch. Eight inch, six inch, three inch, two inch. Eight inch, six inch, three inch, two inch. Okay, so these two are the same, and this one is different. Please turn. Please turn sharper. <laughs> Already taking some flooding damage. And we have an engine damaged, but only slightly. Oh my god, we are taking some flooding damage. Yeah, we are down to 10 knots. And here comes some torpedoes. Well, this is not going very well at all. That's double engine disable. Maybe if I went, uh, well no, I can't do 10 inch guns all around. Oh, that was me. Yeah, that was me. Can we end the scenario? Oh, I can do that. Hmm. I'd still like to boost firepower. Let's try this again. see if I can place these a little bit further apart maybe oh I can go with three of them now
I do suppose that is a poor sector of fire. But it is okay. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm gonna go back with the with the nine inch guns. No, make them eight. Can I get many? No. Actually, if I drop 56 tons... Hmm. I might be able to do something a little different here. Keeping the Krupp. That's the best I can get it. by a hundred and fifty nine tons let's get a 12 inch belt See if I can go with some six inch guns right here. Sure can. Unsure how well that's gonna work out, but we are kind of limited in our design choices. That's the best, that's the best that we can get. Let's see if we can get some better main towers. Need to drop another 200 tons. Uh. Okay, let's try this. Spotted to the north, huh? These transports need to get the hell out of here. Also, it's very, very uh, cloudy. You were making the turn just fine. Ah. Uh. And before transport goes down, even though it's not being aimed at. Yeah, that's definitely not a destroyer.
Do I play the range game? Maybe I should play the range game. Destroy the main tower and damage the conning tower. That's a plus. And that's also what happened to ours. Huh, got some double flooding on that. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's good shit. I think going with 9-inch guns all the way around was a smart move. Oh, there's a torpedo. That's gonna suck. Or is it? Missed us. Ah, good. Oh yeah. That's good shit. You are all alone, buddy. Flooding damage. Man, I have just been evading the hell out of some torpedoes. <laughs> and this one's going down as well. Good shit. We absolutely wrecked these guys. And in record time, too. That didn't take very long at all. Alright, good job, team. This will take a bit longer than makes for good content, so I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and end the episode here, which is fine. I play World of Warships. I've got a uh, massive Puerto Rico grind ahead of me. So, yeah, ending the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, by the way. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.